I better go on mute. What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome to episode 17 of the Whether You Like It or Not panel. And you got the whole gang is here. Um, T will be coming soon, I believe. What's up? Happy Monday. What's up, y'all? What's up, Scotty? What's up, Sakina? What's up, y'all? What's up, Willie B? What's going hey. on? So look, so I'm, I'm exhausted because, baby, I've been working on a project all weekend on a production for this movie. So I am not trolling today because I am tired. But um, but all is well because we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? I'm, I'm not trolling today because um, I still ain't finished watching it. <laughs> there ain't shit to finish, Cherub. It's really not. Y'all didn't like the episode? Huh? Y'all didn't like the episode? At all. It didn't really Carlos King said it was sorry. Oh, terrible episode. Terrible. So, look, I'm not going to lie. That was not a season the finale. First, it was sorry. The first 15 minutes, I fell asleep. I was in bed. I done took me a head. I mean, <clears throat> I done. Uh, I mean, I was very <laughs> and um, I fell asleep the first 15 minutes. I had to wake back up and rewind Ashley Park. I was like, okay. Not, not you fell asleep. It was I nothing. fell asleep. I said, oh my God, I'm pulling a really big when she up here falling asleep on the panel. But um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to continue on with the show. <laughs> I do not fall asleep on the panel. Don't do me. You have. Do I have a hat. I have I'll be it. looking down at my phone. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. You know, you know what? I have to I'm throw my doing this with y'all. You know I have to throw my little shade. It would be Duh, you be well, tired, and that's just what it is, honey. <laughs> All right, now look when when I really be pull one of my moves and dip out, don't say nothing. Nah, she gonna get me back because really be slick with her. This is slick. I'm just saying, y'all bullying her right now. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't nobody bullying her ass. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I disagree. Of course you do. Uh oh. Prophet said we okay. didn't see you fall asleep a few times now. <laughs> Child, <I'm, laughs> look, I'm all messed up today. Uh, let me upload the tweets of the week video. But let's go ahead and talk about this really quick. Congratulations. Oh. Congratulations to Juan and Robin Dixon. Uh Juan looks so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to be married to um Robin. Look how happy he looked, y'all. Look how happy he looked. Get me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best day of his life again. Prophet, don't do me. Again. Hold on, hold on. Prophet, don't do me tonight. Don't do me tonight, Prophet. <laughs> you ain't never seen me sleep. Now go somewhere, Prophet. Egg bed, don't <laughs> hurt me. Uh, look sexy, talk <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I cannot with y'all. Mm -mm. You me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I just really felt like, girl, like Robin Dixon has been in a lot of controversy over this past week. This is the most I ever seen her getting talked about. Yeah, the only time she's important. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's not really that important. I mean, let's let's be honest. Give me so excited. <laughs> Child, I tried. Robin, Robin, Robin. Because, yeah, you ain't never the talk of the town, sweets. I did a whole breakdown on her and Juan, and I uploaded today, and then they gave me a uh, YouTube, <laughs> said I had a copyright. Uh, so I had to take it down. I'm in the middle of re editing it. <laughs> Robin looks happier than he does. Um, look at her. She, like she does look good. Her makeup looks, on, her makeup looks really good. I loved her whole wedding look, minus the that little slip that stopped at her knee, before her knee. Oh, I didn't even watch that five minute special. I fast forwarded through the whole damn thing. <laughs> That's what it was a five minute special. You're absolutely right, y'all. <laughs> That's what it was. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into those tweets of the week. <laughs> Okay, so the first tweet is uh, one of my favorite Twitter accounts to follow, Queens of Bravo, and it said, Candace, no matter what miserable people might try to create, that's my man, that's my homie, you can't break us, next, and then editors on miserable people, Giselle. That was so amazing, because yeah, those are miserable people. I said, they, they, they're I just missing it. Robin, but yeah. <laughs> Well, it, well, in this, I, I said I was in this play. scenario, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, I had to catch myself. I was like, "Oh, I'm not going to." But <clears throat> in this situation, no trolling. Robin ain't do nothing. Shit, shit, she was damn near late. She came out like the last five minutes. I said, "What the hell?" Robin just popped up back when um she and like, um Karen was going back. She, I was like, she, oh. "Late as an individual, child." I was like, "Hey, girl, your yeah. bob looks cute." Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next tweet, which is <clears throat> now this tweet really caught my attention. After ensuring Hubby Ray wasn't within earshot, Karen gets to the bottom of Mia allegedly claiming she was street walking in the DM. Um, Sharice joins in to speak her truth. Friends, do y'all think there's any hope for reconciliation between these two? And I'm absolutely not. What kind of question is that? <laughs> no. Karen is a Taurus and Taurus is whole grudges. They're never coming back from this. They're coming back from Union too. Yeah, they are never come. Karen will never be friends with Sharice again. Ever. <laughs> yeah, that's never happened. No way in hell. I mean, I find it to be funny that any of the ladies are trying to be, you know, quote unquote, friends with Sharice, given the fact that she has gun for Giselle, she's gun for Monique, she's gun for Karen. I think there's another person, might be another person. I can't, I, but at least three people. Like, she come on. Now. This on her first season. Mm. And I, but agree, I, I, agree I, with I, I, I do want to say if, they bring Robin back next season in any capacity. 
I don't care if Katie has not gotten herself all the way well. I need Katie back because Katie is the one that kept her foot on Gizzard and Doobie Wig's neck the entire damn time. I need her back. I, I agree. Working a nine to five job. Yeah, right now. I was about to say. Speaking of Sh- Katie, uh, shout out to her. She posted on her Instagram that you know she started back over. She just got out of rehab, and she's just working a um, you know regular nine to five job. And it just shows you how you know she's the how determined she is to get back to where she at. So well, I need her to get back on the show so she can get. Back. <laughs> I'm just okay. being honest. I mean, y'all don't care about that lady well being. I, I ain't saying nothing about. Uh, listen, I do not mind her working at you know CVS. It's okay. Like you got to get your money, however you got to get it. I'm, wait, oh. and and to be clear, I mean not to compare apples to oranges, but Tammy was working a full nine to five. Her first season on basketball. Wise. Yeah, she was. She was catching the train to work, and then on the weekends oh, they'll fly yeah. out to Miami to to film and looking oh, a mess yeah. while doing it. So yeah. Chase Bank or something like that, JP Morgan. Yeah, I remember that. Did I have to say that, y'all? I, I, I did. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay. God. Um. Next tweet. So this one said, "Candace won this season, glowing, successful, and in a great relationship." I really did take a huge loving to Candace this season. Mm-hmm. I was mad. Came a long way. <laughs> I was mad. So let me say this. She she definitely, you know, some some people changed their view about her this season. Yes, it was definitely um, a, a story of all her success. However, she lost when she tried to side with Ashley again. Uh. And when she was uh, clearly kissing Giselle's ass. Like, what, what was all of that mwah, mwah they was doing when they went to her event? At the end, I was like, Candace, did you really just double-cheat Giselle at your... Reveal party, and then the threw all the shade at her in the confessional. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. See, this is why I cannot be on reality TV. I can't. That's big, man. No, I look. I know everyone is is happy at how uh, Candace came off this season, and I understand it because there have been situations with me this last year where I had to swallow a lot. And be in my mind as I interacted with people because I knew if I elevated too much, it's they quit to be like y'all this, y'all that. So I had to be real, even keel. So I understood why she did it. I didn't like it because there were moments where I'm sitting back like I need season. What season of Can was it season four? Candace came on season three. Season three. Season three. I needed season three, Candace. The way that she ate up Charisse on the bus and then got both tacky and her uh, jean army fatigue jacket and robbing together at the dinner table. I need that, Candace, but y'all was happy to see her nice and subdued. So, okay, next season, I, I need her to pull the blades out. Shout out um, to Bondi. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Bondi and thank you, uh, Claudette. Marie. Yes, thank you for the super chat. Um, yeah, shout out to Bondi Blue for sending you over here. Shout yes, out to Bondi Blue, yes. Yeah. This Bondi Blue. <laughs> but anyways, um, I really did. I just felt like that she just wanted to kind of chill this season because I think she already knew she's been in so much mess the past few seasons, so she was just trying to keep it cool. Yeah, Probably. pretty much. Okay, so the next tweet is, Ashley married a millionaire, had two kids with him, has his adultery recorded on camera and divorce him with only half her overpriced mortgage being paid and no alimony? Mm. Take this <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just sad that, you know, Dylan gonna have to suffer because of his mama making stupid decisions. That, that's all I'm sad about. I just have a question. I have a question. Uh huh. In the trailer, I didn't hear. Her, I didn't hear her say she wasn't getting alimony. I heard her say it didn't turn out well for her. Mm. Yeah. Somebody. Where, where, said, I mean, did she? Um, like, did she say? Did, did did she ever say she's not getting alimony? I can't recall. Mm. And the only reason why I say that is because 
her saying it didn't turn out well for her doesn't mean she's not getting alimony. It just means she might not be getting what she wanted or what, what she thought. Wanted. Until mm-hmm. until she say we are divorced, then I'll care about all the other stuff. Until I hear her say we divorced, the paper sign, I don't care. Yeah, okay. her, yeah, her and her two dollars that she probably gonna get. So <laughs> and you know what she and look, she better not oh, yeah. lose I mean, two dollars either because because right because here's where. And and um, shout out to Mims because he puts this up. The thing is, whatever her her divorce settlement is going to be based off of the money they've made since they've been married, not what he had before he met her. So, and then it's also going to take into consideration her income, as she makes good money. Mm-hmm. And so, when you take into consideration that she's got a decent income. You look at the money they've made since they've been married. That's what that. That's what that's about. It's not oh she can take half of everything he has. No, 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 no. It was based off of when since they've been married. And remember, they got that loss from the from the um that restaurant. You can best believe that he made he he made that a bigger deal that they had the loss from the restaurant. You know what I mean? And Ashley makes decent money. Well, if she make this some money, why she act like she broke? Why she gotta pay half? I mean, what do you mean? Act like she broke? What does that mean? She do be acting like she broke. She be acting I'm like she gotta like be paying she... on Michael for everything. Mm-hmm. Because why else mm-hmm. would she have married Michael so that she wouldn't have to worry about working again? I mean, I get that, but if you're truly trying to divorce somebody, I'm not. I'm not depending on you to pay half. And she talking about it made the, the most financial sense. It's giving broke. <laughs> I'm gonna spit out my coat. <laughs> all I know is the dumbest. Listen, first of all, I don't think Ash. I think Ashley is saying. I don't think Ashley's dumb as she sounds, and I don't think that it's as clueless as she sounds. It makes absolutely no sense for you to sit there and say you bought a house that a mortgage is thirteen thousand dollars a month. But you don't know who gonna pay the mortgage, and y'all haven't had that conversation. That right. that don't even make sense from, from Michael's sense. point of view. Even if she was dumb enough to do it, Michael ain't that dumb. Michael's gonna make sure he's very clear on who's paying what and when it's gonna be paid. That's just stupid. And at the beginning of the season, didn't she say that Michael was gonna pay for the house in cash? So what happened to that? How you go from him paying for the house in cash and you have a thousand thousand dollar mortgage? What the hell? It's inconsistencies, and on top of that, it's holes in the story. So it's hard to believe anything that Ashley is saying right now. It's, it exactly. seems like a trend on the show with multiple ladies with the mm-hmm. season holes. Um, so we can skip her scene because I was not excited to talk about that. Her sick ass going to a restaurant sick with her kids. Like, girl. Now, <laughs> he was adding up. He sure right. was. He, like, she, she need to she need to be a real black parent and tap that leg. Right. Cause I said, oh, the audacity ain't trying to put on toes. I don't want my shirt on, but you gotta put mm. your shirt on. You he just look though. No, he, he was channeling his inner PD Pablo, okay? <laughs> All right, he was saying North Carolina, come on and raise up, okay? You want this bit? I'm just saying. This one okay. for you. This one for who? Us, us, us. <laughs> Yeah. Look, y'all keep on playing. Bye, bro. Gonna come out saying freakily. Y'all better leave me alone. <laughs> I'm Miss Peter Pablo. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, do y'all want to talk about Mia and Giselle and their hell? What was it? Mia and Giselle combined. Together. Oh, oh. Um, first of all, I start with Giselle since you put her picture up first. First of all, oh, that's the only time like I really old version of Vanessa Williams. Look at her, looking like a Disney. It's their face for me. But anyway, um, do not put her and Vanessa Williams in the same sense. <laughs> I mean, they do look alike. I ain't even gonna do lie. Do not do that. They are they, sisters. They, they are sisters. She looks like a more evil version of Vanessa Williams. I just feel like this scene. Why you ain't teaching your daughters about the anatomy of a woman? Because they didn't know shit. When she said, "How did struggling?" When, yeah, when one of the twins said, "How do you pee?" I hollered when she said that. Like, yes. <laughs> like what the fuck? Maybe she peed from her bladder, not her uterus. <laughs> I was 
all took them. But I, 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 no, I, I think she thought she her mother said urethra. I don't know. I just laughed. I thought and it was hilarious. Laughed, was like, oh, wait. And let's be clear, her daughters didn't really care. They did not give a fuck at all. They they none of it. That's what I'm saying. Just they'll just be making up shit. <laughs> I don't like give a damn. Why you take your grown ass, almost grand. graduated from high school, daughters off for ice cream to talk to them about the birds and the bees? <laughs> <laughs> what do to talk about, or she don't want to talk about her real life. No, I tripped out when she said, "We have a lot to celebrate." Me and Steve went on a date. They don't give a fuck about Steve. We went on a date with a nigga. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and then Mia talk about her possibly going to the um doctor and talking about her. Yeah. Now she got a rash. We do not get a rash. So I will say this: her makeup looks good. It's gotten better towards the end of the season. Uh, mm. I still see the texture. Uh, it ain't working. Uh, Josiah, wait, Josiah. Yes. You not for to tell me that her cheeks were looking like a Nestle Crunch bar. You oh, not for yeah. lot of me. Uh. You die for the lot of me, sir. I saw it all through my screen. Um, I'm sick of talking about me a crunch bar on my way to work in the morning. <laughs> I hope you ain't eating that for breakfast. It gonna give me some energy. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, okay, girl, like you done dragged this out. And she was, you know, clearly we call her ass out beginning of the damn season. Sick of her. Stick of her. I'm I'm very glad not to see her for a couple of months. Like not the ringworm. Not not her, not them saying she got the same skin textures as grits. Ooh. <laughs> Baby and rice krispie trees. Damn, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> see see this hurt. is why I love the chat. They be <laughs> right here with us. Sometimes they be worse. I love it. Y'all do be cutting up in the chat now. They do, but it's all I'm gonna miss them when we go on this little month hiatus, child. It's right. only a month. Well, yeah, because they because they said Atlanta don't come back until May, so it's gonna be about a month or two. Oh. Well, I mean, okay, right, right quick. They they said the reunion part one is on a Friday. A Friday. If I'm not mistaken, it said February seventeenth. And that is a Friday, people. Let me make sure. Yeah, I need confirmation. Let me make sure because they they dumb as hell to put it on a Friday. Now it, I'm saying that's what I saw on the commercial when it aired. And I'm like, that don't sound right. And I'm like, that's a Friday. Then Let me put it up on his desktop. It say February the nineteenth. Okay, so the, it was a typo. All right, the nineteenth. I'm about to say the seventeenth. Okay, 19th. but you know right, networks cool. be messing up, so you very much so could have seen that, right? <laughs> Most definitely. Okay, well, look, we got a week break then. Yeah, we. Do. Oh, so we do. Oh, somebody said the Super Bowl. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I was. Oh uh, yeah, and I was surprised they aired last night during the Grammys, but they said now nah, we ain't finna be gone for no two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> And I appreciate them for that. Let's get this damn show on the road. Right. Especially because Jersey start tomorrow. I totally forgot Jersey start tomorrow. I'm like, oh, hell. Jersey <laughs> came through with they, um, their little promo pick. I said, okay, with the purple. Look they at the promo Jersey. That goes to show you that Potomac was whack as hell last night. But let me say this. If they don't have a new intro, then I know, then I ain't know something yet. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a new intro, like New York. Then I know something because Atlanta need a new intro too. They, they need been one. needed one. Yeah. Yes. It's been years. They don't never change. They don't this see a new intro. New York a new intro. Beverly Hills their intro been good. Atlanta, New Jersey. Where y'all at? Yeah, what I'm saying. If Atlanta don't get no new one, I know some. Exactly. They be coming through with the promo picks, but the intro needs a redo. Right. Okay. So, um, let's move on to this little scene here with Karen and Mia. 
So Mia called Karen and they talk about, um, you know, since Karen was not at Robin's um, bachelorette, bachelorette's party, um, it was discussed that, you know, uh, Karen has been a hoe and she's been loose. <laughs> and then the way how the conversation is, baby, Mia was really gas. I feel like Mia was definitely gaslighting her. And clearly we see that there is no friendship with these ladies. Thoughts? Um, what I gathered from this scene was that Mia knows how to tell a story, right? She just chooses not to because she didn't lie in this scene. She, they did call her, uh, uh, you know, lady of the night mm -hmm. who likes to do men in the bathroom, uh, workers in the bathroom, and she admitted to not sticking up for Karen. I said, oh, all right. So you just be choosing a lie. I mean, you. We already know she knows she be lying, but it, it, the fact that she told the truth in this scene, I said, "Oh wow!" Okay. Right, exactly. Yeah. I um, love the fact that I love the fact that Karen got her ass together because Karen was like, "Explain to me why you didn't defend me." Because see, that's what I always have a question: when somebody come back to me and tell me what somebody said about me, I want to know why they felt comfortable enough to talk shit about me. Hold on, y'all. Oh, you coming on camera for that? What's going on? She probably still watching the show. Oh, right. Wow. Oh yeah. So, I guess I try to slow it down a little bit, but I just feel like what? What happened? Hmm. Now oh, she, knows she should have had this plane in the car on her way home from school. <laughs> <laughs> now look, I'm not gonna lie. Some days I be doing that when I'm busy on Sunday night and I don't have time to watch and I'm busy at work. When I'm home from work, shoot, I play that thing right in the background. Sure, if Josiah don't call me at work. I'm listening to Madea plays on my phone at work. Oh my God. How do you so get out? <laughs> Listen. Oh, I thought I was the only one. So, y'all, if y'all do not know, Madea, um, what is it? I can do bad all by myself. The OG version is on YouTube. Yes. And yes. then the Die Real Mad Black Woman with Miss Deatra Hicks, who plays Helen, is on YouTube. And baby, I'll be watching that. Oh, I was listening to I was listening to losing Isaiah this morning. Don't ask me why, but I was. <laughs> Not Isaiah. How long have you been clean, Kyla? Two years and one month. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get get Scotty. <laughs> don't ask me why I wanted to see losing Isaiah. I really wanted to watch that. I don't know why I hadn't seen it in years. I mean I was waiting for y'all to say something though. Because, so I, because, I, no, because I said it on Facebook, y'all, and, and a lot of the times when I say stuff on Facebook, you come out of the blue with comments. And I don't, be I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be sitting here lying to these people. Oh, this is good old internet. Don't be lying to these people. Oh, I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I ain't even gonna argue with you today. <laughs> I was, but why this morning though? And we about to move on to the next scene, I promise. But why this morning? I was mocking. I was well, not mocking. I was laughing at Scotty when he was talking about Diane. Get the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Diane. Diane. I say that every morning at work. They be waiting on me to say that. I walk after I clock in. I walk up to the front. I be like Diane. Diane, pick up the phone. <laughs> oh my god, mm -hmm. that is so funny! Oh my god. Okay, let me move on. Let me let me get back on topic. This was a short ass episode, so we got at least try. To it was very short because it was whack. It was shit to talk about. I'm like, Ooh. and then they have the audacity to tack on 15 minutes for a two dollar wet. I was so scared. <laughs> Why? Carlos King well, said it was a two wedding. No, it was. Be look, look, that's what Carlos said. He said, he said it was talking about the iPhone 12. Yeah, he look. said it was iPhone 12. Why man. is Carlos going in like that? The Child, he went in wait, again, wait, and no, I was no, here for all of it. Carlos knew just right like we did that. that she ain't pay for that. What happened is she talked to one of her friends. They was like, yeah, we got some people coming through at 11. So she was like, all right, can we slide through at 9 and go ahead and have our wet since they already paid for it. We slide it at 9. Go ahead and do this little yang, 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 and then we'll leave before they get there. $2. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> the, um, the, um, 
Did mm -hmm. um so did they get married in Jamaica or did they get married here in the Chesapeake? Uh, uh, in Maryland. They got married in Maryland, sure. Yeah, right at the, the back of the house. So they got married on the Chesapeake. So they got married on the Chesapeake child. Somewhere, <laughs> some city that start with an E. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Ellicott City? I don't think it had a city no in the chair. I just know it was something with an E that they showed on the screen because I said, Chad, what is this? Not trying to fool us, making us think that they went to uh, Jamaica. And they was right there in fucking Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that plane landed right off. <laughs> <laughs> right over the Maryland. I said, <laughs> Oh my God. Go ahead, Josiah. I'm sorry. Are okay. oh, you good? You good. Um, Maryland is a high state. That's where I live. <laughs> So let's talk about Miss Candace, okay? This is the the end of the uh, season, last group scene of the season. Candace premiere party, which I we think that the video minutes. was really good. Um, I thought the video was good, but basically Candace is on the high. She got her whole crew with her. You know, her man, we get to see her manager. And I wish I was invited somehow. Really, be why you ain't connect me, girl? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Ruby B was not attending no fantasy event. I, I, I could have though. Uh, Jos Josiah, no, yes. you needed. You should have been at that tacky ass wedding. You stay, <laughs> you stay away from Candace. Hell no, hell was, no. You y'all didn't see me in the. I uh, see. I was. I said I was gonna do it. Don't see you trying to bait me. The troll. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it because you were gonna say yeah, you didn't see me there. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you, you, could, you could do the flowers. You could have brought him the, those tacky ass rings. You could have been standing there holding the camera up. You could. He didn't even call me and tell me he was there, child. I was in a. If you look, so at the corner, I was <laughs> edited out. But you see my finger, it's right here. You see my hand at the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see the hand. <laughs> Okay. I, I forgot to sign. I didn't get a chance to sign away. But uh, <laughs> stop trolling. Okay. Uh, why Tracy said JoJo? Tracy said JoJo was holding the iPhone 12. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was, girl. How you know? You got some exclusive. <laughs> How you find out? She oh knows. my god. Oh, man. <laughs> so um, she has her party, and you know, all the girls are showing up. Funny to me, Giselle speaks to Chris. Chris looks like he ain't here for none of their issues. You know, Chris is not with Giselle. So she's speaking in her, coming in looking like a Disney villain. Now, <laughs> the party don't get popping until what? You said a Disney villain. A uh, Disney villain, yes. So the party, I'm sorry, the mess ain't get popping until Ashley ass come up. Now Ashley look good as hell. That's not that butterfly shirt. She look like a, a Y2K girl. Straight from well, the early 2000s. That's the only positive comment I got about Ashley. She looks good. I like her hair. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I don't like her straight she comes in there and immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she comes in there and immediately get it popping. She talks as to usual. Her, her usual. Right. Her. Yeah, she talks to Wendy. And side note, y'all, I feel like we barely seen Wendy this episode. We, we didn't we have that. What about the whole season? <laughs> My girl coming back and she gonna come back better than ever. Don't sleep. She don't, I don't I don't think Wendy needs to come back and no shame, but I just think that she's above this show. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she, um she is above it. I I, I agree. She I is. agree. I, I agree. I agree. Yes. Um, but this is this scene right here is you know Ashley stirring up some mess between Wendy and um, Mia. Her makeup look her makeup look good right here. That that's a good makeup application right there. That oh shit okay, not, not that. No, <laughs> not that style phone cup. No, that, that's great. She looks nice oh and thin. But um, basically, she tells Wendy that Mia told the girls Wendy wanted her. So Wendy, you know, had to get the record straight, set the record straight immediately and tell Mia, like, girl, why are you telling these girls that? It was the other way around. How, any thoughts Wendy, on that scene? Wendy annoyed me with that. Because Mia really sat up there and lied on you and said that you wanted her. I was going to say something, but I know they're going to get mad with me for saying it. No, I was going to say something else, and they're going to get mad with me for saying it. So I'm not even going to use that those terms. 
you said that no, Mia said you wanted her sh her shortbread cookie, her Girl Scout cookie. That's what she said. Are you talking about you would have thought about letting her have Don't some bring of the your Girl cookies. Into this. I'm just saying. And Don't bring you the Girl Scouts from. You had to do it. Say you want to touch it. I would have thought about it, girl. No, you, you don't never even think about letting nobody touch on you who threw a drink in your face and smacked you with a purse. No. <laughs> It gave me all types of pygmies for that. Yeah, know. yeah, because it was like, girl, you don't get to hit me with no purse and feel like you're going to touch my cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, you know, you drink and feel like I'm going to throw that yeah. cat on you. Like, no. It don't make sense. Sakita, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that makes me laugh. <laughs> so, um, later in the episode, Giselle tells Karen that Mia, you know, called her. Oh, uh -huh. and when Mia was looped in, she said that she didn't call Karen this. So she didn't. Um, yeah. So I was just like Giselle. Why For the first time, Mia went lying. She didn't call her no prostitute. She asked, were you saying that she's a prostitute? She never called her no prostitute. Yes. Like, <laughs> Mia was trying to tell the truth. For one part, well, both parts, because she was lying at that doctor's office. Right. But, exactly. <laughs> so, um, now things get interesting later because Mia pulls Karen aside to tell her, let me get my notes here, what she said, that she's friends with a certain business owner and heard that Karen hooked up with his best friend um, in a hotel restroom a couple years ago. And I was like, Mia, what is your point of pulling this woman aside and telling her this? Like, how messy <laughs> could you be? Wait, wait, no, she did it because they knew that this was the wrap up of the season and let me try to get as much camera time as possible. And because if you really think about it, that's what a lot of this was. Was them literally trying to have as many scenes yeah, in this one true. particular moment as possible. Because I guarantee you, if, if uh, yo, uh, Shiro, if her quote-unquote wedding was the season finale, we wouldn't have gotten none of this. Because everybody would have wanted to play nice. You know, for Robin. Nobody give a fuck about Robin. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but my thing with this is Karen gave a little bit of guilt to me. Because one when uh when Mia was on the phone with her and they was talking about uh Mia was telling her about the whole situation. She was like, her facial expression kind of looked like, exactly, like that. <laughs> like, no, she didn't just clock me. But when Mia was telling her down at Candy's event, when Karen said in her confessional, I called and I called the restaurant. They said they don't know you. Why are you doing research? Why are you calling down to that restaurant to see if they know Mia? Mm -hmm. Why is that any of your concern if it's not true? So that gave me like, oh, you might have been in Vegas with that man down down from the uh, that man best friend in Vegas. I don't know. Well, the the the, the frustrating part about Real Housewives of Potomac is let's keep it real. In some capacity, now, who in your room? My little brother. Yeah. Oh, I was like, who? Oh. Hey, brother. Um, in some capacity, <laughs> all of these women on the show has lied to in some extent right and when you have a show that has a, a women full of that can't really keep it real it's it doesn't make a great collective show so you got a whole bunch of people that's trying to be a charade on the show not talking about karen i'm talking about some other people robin giselle ashley it don't bring the you can't have four charades on the show mm -hmm. it's like in the neat words and any least it's going to be it's declassing the show <laughs> so, and we'll—I I mean, I have some more opinions about this whole season. This season was horrible. 
Well, it wasn't horrible. It was. It could have been it, better. No, it was horrible. And, I, I, Here's I, my I, thing. and I've been saying this on just about every video that I've done so far on Potomac this last week. I want to know where's the energy for this because people been shitting all over the Housewives of Atlanta for the last few seasons. They've been talking about how whack it is. Every time they get ready to come out with a season, they already ready to tear it down before we even see a trailer <laughs> and ready to put Atlanta down for the sake of Potomac and, you know, to build Potomac mm. to put Atlanta down all the time. And I want to know where are these people at who who really pissed on Atlanta last season because people can say whatever they want, but I enjoyed last season of Atlanta way more than I did for Potomac this season. Potomac started off good, but I think around the time they got to Miami is where it started going downhill for me. Right after, yeah, right after the whole Wendy, the drink throwing thing is where it went downhill for me this season. But and 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 all other things too. They they go in on Atlanta so much, but Atlanta even on in its bad days, it has higher ratings than Potomac still. Well, you know, I said in my review because actually the actual review for the show was quick, but I had to just analyze the entire season towards the end, which gave me a longer video. Because I said what we got this season was similar to last season, where we start off where everybody for the most part has a storyline. Then after the first couple of episodes, then it's nothing but drama. Mm -hmm. Drama, drama, drama with nothing about these fleshed out storylines but created drama. Then we get to the very end and within the last two episodes we are revisiting the storyline uh -huh. that they told us the first couple of episodes that we ain't heard nothing about. And then you have people, two mofos in particular where had y'all given us the real we would have cared, like with Giselle. Her bringing the dude on wouldn't have cared about. But the Five Boys thing, yeah, we heard Cindy talk about it, but she could have taken us through. And the fact that you're going to lose your whole uterus, why couldn't we have been in, in the doctor's office with you? And then, even though she wouldn't show it, but we see the breakdown. We see you contemplating how you go going to tell your girls. And then just the whole navigating that. That is some real stuff that some women do go through where they have to get rid of certain lady parts and having to ask themselves, am I still a woman even though I don't have these parts? Why we couldn't get that? With Robin, her line saying, oh, well, this happened before the season. You a lie because he was cheating. Last season, laying up in the bed while your kids was late to school failing and shit. So you could have started this last season and we would have had a better understanding and eating chick for lunch. You say why you was depressed. We would have had a better understanding of why you want this, you know, infidelity clause because his ass still cheating and y'all didn't even walk down the aisle yet. Like, had you given us the real, we would have supported you, Robin, even with the whole, I don't know if it's time to get wedded yet. Like, we would have believed that a hell of a lot more than all these BS excuses that you getting us with this wedding. Then all of a sudden, last minute, you shoot your wedding two months after the season. Then round, and then it comes out after the reunion is taped that some real shit was going on in your damn life, but you wanted the main ones trying to press Karen about whether or not her man is faithful or not. Like when I tell you this, like uh, with the season, it it was entertaining enough to where we got our reviews out, <clears throat> but there was no substance. It was nothing but drama, and then it seemed like since they got Monique off, it's oh, well, we were able to ice this person out so we can continue this trend. It's, it's, it's way too dark. It's way too toxic. And that's all I got. Because I'm... This I mean, you said everything that needed to be said, to be honest. Like you said, everything that needed to be said. Because yeah. this show is all about ripping up other people's relationships now. It's, 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 it's gotten more to that. Like, it's not, it's not any petty... We can accept the petty drama and shit like that. We can accept that. But when it comes down to y'all attacking people's marriages and shit, it becomes too much at that point. Now y'all trying to ruin somebody's life now. It's too much. Uh, look who on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish watching the show? You completed it. Well, my thing is this. I think for me, um, I agree with everything y'all said. I agree with everything Scotty said. And, you know, um, um, Jojo, my thing is this. <clears throat> I think for me, it's the lack of accountability. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to talk your ish, talk your ish. But it's that double standard lack of accountability that bothers me. On 
and I'm not saying it doesn't happen on other reality shows. So I'm not very get into a whole comparison issue because all of the shows got their ish, right? All the shows have their ish, but for me, that's my that's where this season really sort of pissed me off because I don't understand how people like even with last night with Robin talking to Andy. I don't understand how you could not acknowledge the hypocrisy of this whole situation. You have been active in trying to tear apart people's marriages. Yet when you had some real ish going on, you you didn't just cho- you didn't just choose to hide it because the thing that the thing and I wish I wish caught her on that ish when she said, well, it just didn't come up during the season, Andy. We were past it. We were past it. That's bullshit. Because when Karen brought it up, you act like it wasn't true. Now, it Karen, Karen might have uh-huh. had her details. <coughs> she might have had her details wrong. Okay, it might not have been a woman in Georgetown that looked like her. But let's not sit here and act like Juan <sighs> was out in the street. <laughs> you knew he was out in the street. So, so that's the thing that pissed me off. It's like, mm-hmm. wait a minute. So y'all was cool with going after Candace over some real BS. Y'all was cool with going after Eddie last season and Wendy last season on some real BS. But when it's your ish, uh-huh. all of a sudden, it's, it's, it, it, it just it's the hypocrisy of it. And it's the not calling each other out and holding each other accountable is the part that bothers me. I feel like on other shows, again, no show is perfect. But I, I feel like there is people that will call you out. And even when it's their friends, they'll say, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Like, Candy will do that. Kenya will do that. Even when it's her friends, she'll be like, girl, now you know. And I just, just feel like that, that's, what we're, that's where it's lacking on the show. Mm-hmm. They don't hold each other accountable. I just want to say, <clears throat> exactly. so y'all in the comments don't get mad. Love and Marriage DC, right? Yes, I want it. This last episode is a, oh, is pretty it. much the best way that I can explain what what okay, my. Okay, I haven't seen is. that episode either. Let me get off. I ain't seen nothing. Okay, well, I'm I'm, I'm not going to go into detail, but what I'm gonna say is, rather than everything being surrounded like oh oh, it's all about this person versus this person or this person cheating. There's elements of that, like you know, Irena and Winter having a little tip and whatnot, but it ain't it ain't a big thing. But when yes. you have the Tylers and what they're going through with their child, that is some real stuff, right? When you have the Silvas and what they're going through collectively, but what Ashley has going on with her mother, real stuff. And it seems like with the Housewife franchise, but we're talking about Potomac. We don't dig that deep no more. It's I have this issue and it's real surface. But the main thing is let us get to all this group drama. So we're no longer really invested in what the women have going on. Because with some of the storylines that we did get, we didn't go deep. We didn't go deep into, you know, Candace and the IVF. Because I'm pretty sure there was more to that that we didn't see. Her music career, we got bits and pieces of that. Wendy, we only briefly touched on her health. Now, the, the, the lounge, Wendy, no. But her health, <laughs> we, we just touched on it. Who, who else had somewhat of a... Stu. Mm-hmm. Gis- Giselle had a perfect storyline with, with just having tell her um, hysterectomy. Uh-huh. We talked about that. That was a perfect storyline. You're on a show dealing with black women. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know the statistics. But you could have done the same thing Kimmy did over on Love and Marriage Huntsville and say, listen, I didn't want to bring this down here, but I feel like it's important that I share my story. And it may not seem like a big deal to on average, but it's a, a big deal for one. She's knocking on 50, but she's not an old, old woman. It is a big deal that whatever problems that led to the point that her doctor is saying, we need to, we need to take out your reproductive organs. That a big deal. It's something she's been dealing with for years. She ain't never peeped a word. A word of it. You know, it's like y'all missed nope. so many opportunities to give, give us a storyline. Bring us bullshit because you so busy trying to trying to exploit everybody else's life to the extent that you would rather lie 
or what they got going on in their marriage. It's one thing if this, this if this shit was really happening. It's something different to just totally make up stories. Mm-hmm. So do you guys, okay, since we're here, That's would awesome. you blame some of this on the fandoms mm-hmm. as well? Because all they want is a bunch of drama. Yes. That's mm-hmm. all they want. Yes. Because that's why basketball wives don't work. It's they don't have none of them have no personal storyline. So they gotta use each other and beef and fight with each other in order for to in order to have a storyline. Like that's it. It's no substance there. And I'm glad that you did bring up Love and Marriage DC. Because last season I wasn't feeling it. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't feeling it at all last season. I don't know what it only revolved around one couple. That's yes, what. I wasn't feeling it. But this season, there's personal story. Everybody has a personal story to tell. But you also get the cadenies in between, you know, the women, you know, fight with each other, but it's also a personal story there. It's not all about a bunch of draining ass drama. It's Everybody, like you said, Jamie and Lorena, they got their stuff. Joy and Clifton, they're trying to plan their wedding. They're trying to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Um, who else on that show? Ashley and Quick, they got their problems. Ashley and her mama. And then you got Ashley fighting with Winter. You got Lorena fighting with Winter. Like, it's different stuff going on. And that's what make Love and Marriage DC good. I mean, dare I say that it's, I, I'm enjoying this much better than I enjoyed the Huntsville season last 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 time around, did I say that? Because it was all because Huntsville. Was all about, I'm, just, I'm just saying because because it, it was all about I'm, I'm Mel and Martell. Right, and I'm it was all about Mel and Martell. I feel I feel what you're saying on that too. I feel like this. Um, I'm gonna put it, Karay. I'm with Karay on this one. I put a lot of it on production. Because, Uh and I hate to keep going back to Carlos, but one of the things that Carlos said was, he was like, listen, I'm not afraid to sit my cast down and be like, you're not, you're playing with me. You're playing games. You're not giving me enough. You're playing. And he said he's done that with all of his shows. He said he did it with Love and Marriage DC before they started filming. He was like, okay, the first season was cute, but y'all gonna have to step it up. You're gonna have to step it up. He's done it with Huntsville. Baby, that season was ugly, not cute child well whatever he said he just did it with um with the bell collective he had to go down there he said they filmed in season three and he had to go down there and let him know uh-uh you playing with me he was like some of the some of the ladies are bringing it and other ladies are not and i had to let them know like uh-uh i need it and so again it doesn't mean you, have to, not you, you, don't, it. you don't have to use it as a therapy session huh i said i wonder who's not bringing it i bet it's tamra uh, it probably is Tam storylines, but but because ain't no way in the world you're gonna tell me you're trying to have a kid, but y'all ain't having sex. Girl, stop playing in my face. But <laughs> my thing is, but my thing, but my thing is, I put a lot of that because why is Giselle allowed to? Because I mean, it's not a, it's not as big of a deal as an affair, but it's the same mindset. Why haven't you talked to us about? Whatever you have going on to the point where now you have to have surgery and have, you know, like it's a big, it's a big, it's a storyline. It may not be the most exciting mm-hmm. storyline. It may not be something. I mean, hell, I mean, it's even your though life. You're not, it's your life, you know. And I agree with you. I think, but we already know that, unfortunately, the love and marriage. I mean, the love and hip hop shows have sort of set the bar. Oh, we want to see drama. We want to see drama. Oh no, the fans are finicky. One minute they want to see drama, the next minute they don't want to see drama. So th- the fans are finicky. But again, if you sign up for a reality show, you need to be bringing us something. And Giselle, you and your daughters, it was cute. But we over that now. Like, give us some. But see, she's been allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. She's been allowed to and do she's that. Only been in, she's only been appointed to be the resident pot stirrer. That's all she feels. She's mm-hmm. a production pet. They only send her out to start the minutes. That's all. But, wait, but you, oh, but you know what, though, Scotty? Mm-hmm. With you saying that, I wish that people would get hip to what is going on. Because here's the reality. If people see what Giselle is doing and they don't feed into it, what's going to happen? Because at some point, you're going to get reduced 
halfway through the season because you're not giving like during the season finale when she walked up to Karen she was like yeah so did so did you talk to me yeah we talked well did she say tell you that she called you a uh, prostitute and Karen should have been like me and I talked we discussed everything and we're cool and she could have killed it right there but because she was like no she didn't and right th- you gave her the lead that she needed to sit here and put a battery in your back and get your ass activated and 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 look if people paid attention Giselle has even said she put extra stank on stuff. She put mm-hmm. extra sauce, aka I take what you say, I add extra oh, to it. So pretty much that. I'm lying. Mm-hmm. I'm lying when I go back and tell people stuff, and people still fall for it. But yeah. what I'm saying yeah. is, if people yeah. didn't fall for this stunt, she wouldn't have nothing, which means at some point in the season, production gonna be like, you need to figure something out because it ain't working. Your producing job ain't producing. And I can honestly say, even on Atlanta, some of them was having personal story last season. A lot of them were. It wasn't all about, you know, their them fighting with one another. A lot of them have their own personal story, whether we like the story or not, but they had it. But, you know, but when they said that last season was like old school Atlanta, it was like there was a lot there was like we saw their lives and then we we caught the shade and a little bit of drama and close your legs and marry men and oh i just knew i was on the guest list so i just walked in and then come to find out i wasn't on the guest list like right that's the real stuff like it, it was it was you know it wasn't super heavy and then it just and like carlos said and then it just becomes a shade fest and i got the best read of the night and it's like but it's not always that like give us a little bit of that but give us the real it's not natural. Right. It's not natural. You could tell that they're going into it trying to get some read that's going to last a century. That's all they do. It, it doesn't come off natural. Like it, it don't come off as natural as how we come across up here. We don't be trying to read a lot of the times we wind up doing it anyway. I mean... It... Especially me because I just be up here trying to be my nice little gentle self and then... Right, yeah, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Noble B for the five dollars super chat. Thank you so much. You said one hundred percent agreed. Um, fibroids disproportionately affect Black women, me included. Giselle missed the mark to be a bit more relatable by not sharing it. And another thing too, Josiah, is another comment that's in there, and I'm gonna mention it. I don't, although I don't watch that show no more. Which one? But Married to Medicine is also. Um, a good example of them having personal stories alongside with the drama. And another thing with Mary Tomasin is the husbands are involved as well. These folks on the housewives, their husbands don't want to be involved in this shit. That's because their husbands are always the storyline and, and being lied on. And, uh-huh. I mean, yeah. even when they're not being lied on, mm. it's still just a lot. That's what Chris and Eddie it. said, F y'all. And that's, I, a, and that's a valid Right. And that's what I'm saying. And and when you look at you look at the fact that the husbands don't participate. Chris, I mean, Juan don't come to no reunions. Michael ain't been to a reunion in like two the last two three reunions. He don't need like, to. We don't see, we don't see a lot of the significant others. And I agree, Married to Medicine does a good job of bringing drama, but also bringing real stories. I mean, hell, how many times we gonna hear about Toya fucking up the bag? But that's the thing. like. So they be up the uh, being in a new house every and, season, and, and and look like, and I'm gonna need yeah, to leave Jason like, Derulo alone because they keep on messing with Jason Derulo. He gonna go back in the studio and create another album when he's supposed to be taking care of Wendy. Leave Jason <laughs> Derulo alone. Damn it. Jason Derulo, he got Wendy. Oh wow, Wendy <laughs> husband. He talking about Eddie. Jason Derulo. He does not look nothing like that man. <laughs> he kind of does. He uh, like uh, over 300 Y'all people. Just saying it you guys, be sure to like the video if you're enjoying it. It will push us up in the Shout out to the 300 um, people. Number one source, hey. your, your number one Monday source for <laughs> Real Housewives of Botana, uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> 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 Not Batana, oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if y'all enjoying it, hit up that like button. Okay. So um let's move on to the last scene, y'all, uh, which is Ashley versus Candace. 
Um, so oh god. Now as you no, know, Karen done left the venue, child. She said, "F y'all, I'm over it." And um, shout out to everybody. I had fun. That's what she said. <laughs> right. So Ashley decides to approach Chris. Let me get my picture up really quick. Hold on. Where did Claudette from? Cause she's spelling everybody name real fancy, like. <laughs> <laughs> Not fancy. Thank you, Claudette, for the shoot the super chat. Girl, where you from? <laughs> Look, Karen, Wendy, and Candace. And she spelled Chris name. I think I think Claudette is a woman. But they uh spelled Chris name with a K-H. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so Ashley decides to pro- approach Chris, okay? Um, because her and Candace was talking, and Candace was like, hey, like, this is not the good time. You know, let's just let's just put a pin on that. We'll talk about that later. Ashley decides to go ahead and approach Chris anyways, and they attempt to discuss the accusations as well as Chris tweets on Twitter. Y'all know Chris, Chris be tweeting away. And Chris said he's pissed off that he's being accused of groping a woman. And, you know, they talked about the Sesame Street kid. Well, Candace and um, <laughs> Ashley talked about it. She was, shout out to her child. She was mentioned for a good two seconds and then they moved on. And <laughs> <laughs> Ashley said she's understanding this, but Chris got to admit some of his stuff too. And Chris is pissed, okay? Having it. He was not having it. He all The next thing you see, you see the back of his bald head walking off like Caillou. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he was just not here for it. He was not here for Ashley coming at him like this. What is I don't blame him. He should have cussed her yeah. ass the fuck out, really. Right. Um, uh, well, I'ma say, um, Chris, you got what you deserved. Ooh. Period. Wasn't expecting anything. No, I no, I I I'm serious. Like if we go back to last season, was it last season? It was. Last season when your wife was clearly beefing with her and you want to sit here and have a little conversation in the dang kitchen over the island. Trying to talk to her when well, you supposed to have you not a front with your wife, but now you want to sit and play peacemaker for her to sit here and clown your ass later on in the season. And then in this one, tonight or that night was about your wife and her video. So when she came over to you with the bull, all you had to say was, Ashley, tonight is not the night. I'll either talk to you tomorrow or when we're all reunited. Keyword at the reunion. reunion. That's all you had to say. But because you decided that you wanted to engage, you got exactly what you needed. I don't feel no sympathy for you. None. He even tried to be respectful to her, though. And I, it was the gaslighting for me. Like, when he stormed off, bitch, what do you mean? <laughs> Who is that? Scotty No, that's, that's, that's my... My Instagram oh my stories, my reels. No, YouTube already on. on, on you trying to, uh, that's right. It's that's actually a- not. I almost cussed you out. I that's almost cussed you life. out. I almost cussed you. I almost cussed you. Cussed you out. It almost happened. Leave me alone. It almost happened. That's a whole alert. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. A whole alert would know what a whole alert means. But, Don't play um, with me. <laughs> Do y'all feel like that Chris does a little Sorry. bit too much on social media? Or do you think that he's simply defeating, defending mm-hmm. himself? I don't pay attention to what himself. he's doing. But yeah, if they talking shit about him, then he's definitely defending himself. I mean, you don't get to make me a storyline. Especially like on I this can't. level. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Especially on this level. You heard Wait. him at the reunion. He said he had to explain uh, himself on his job. He said he had family members he, calling he, him up. Like, it's so serious. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go in. I can feel it. No, no, I'm no, I'm not. Just, just Taurus Moon. I, I want to be very clear. <laughs> I am not saying Chris did not have the right to defend himself. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, in terms of a business and what the night was supposed to be, that wasn't the time or the place. And if he wanted to entertain Ashley, why not step outside and get away from all these people? So. Causing this scene takes away. So what I'm saying is rather than give her what she wanted, which was a moment, either don't do it, just don't do it and wait for the reunion or some other time. But if you choose to 
go outside. He has look. I I'm on Chris' side with going. To, I want him to snap smooth the hell off at the reunion because based off the looks, it seemed like he lost his job over this. And if y'all recall, me and Scotty, I don't know how many times me and Scotty then came down on everybody over the Porsche and Candy thing. Hell, I'm still mad over that because Candy could have lost everything over this lot. I swear. And it didn't happen. And it seemed like Chris has lost a lot. So again, I'm not saying he should not defend himself. But what I am saying is because he allowed himself to indulge in this conversation at this particular time, what he got is what he got. That's what I'm saying. But he has every right to defend himself. And truth be told, I would have just cussed up smooth the hell out from here to sunset. I wouldn't have walked off. It he would have been every word in the book. And can we go back to just a tad bit of what you just said? Because what I don't understand about people is that they like to diminish things like this. Because I still don't understand people that feel like the whole Candy and Portia thing is not that serious. I still don't understand that. Like, that bothers me. And I know that's a reality show, but that bothers me when I hear people say it wasn't that serious. It was a joke that went too far. It's not that deep. I never would have took it seriously. How could you not take something like that seriously? Mm. Right. And how could he not take it seriously um, about the stuff that they said about him? Don't nobody want to be looked at as a person that that does stuff like that. So, I mean, because mm. cause when you put that stuff on TV, whether it's a lie or not, the, the fans are still going to run with it regardless of whatever you say, no matter how you defend yourself, no matter how many times you prove that it didn't happen, they still going to run with it. As a, Like, again, y'all, you brought up the Candy and Portia thing. We proved that, that Candy never said it. But then when the when the when the allegations came out with the Ti and Tiny stuff, that's the first thing they went back to was, oh well, I believe that stuff that Fader said was true. Nobody would ever said that if they never would have put that on blast, put that out there like that. So people don't realize that things like this will still stick with you regardless of if it's a lie or not. That's that, that's why I, that's why I take stuff like this seriously when it comes down to my character. Like don't put shit out there about me and my character and it's not true. That's why I take certain things personal. But people want to make it like it's sensitivity. No, I just don't play about my character. Absolutely. Um, Shout out to Lisa Andre uh, for the super chat. She said, if I was Chris, I would sue Giselle for her barn and I would sue Ashley for her new house. Do y'all not hear Ruby? Living in a tent with her mother. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) And that's a read. (laughs) Yeah, because I heard you under your breath, Ruby was talking hella shit. Really, B, are you throwing well, shade at Who was she throwing shade at? You! She better be glad I didn't hear her motherfucking ass. <laughs> you see how she started with me? You see how she started? I wouldn't even bother with her, but I got her though. You have the floor, really, B. Um, can I say something, please? No, you absolutely. Oh, so I have to get ready right. to drop down. Okay. Um, I want before I leave to make sure everybody go over to the Boss Baby Awards and vote for Scotty and Jamar in the categories <laughs> that they are nominated oh for. Goodness. Please, um, mods, somebody drop the link so that. When we are mm-hmm. done, 300 of y'all go on over to the Boss Baby Awards and vote. Please and thank you. I would also like to say that I am close to my 10,000. I need 200 and I'm more subscribers. So it's 300 of y'all in the room. If y'all are not all subscribed to me already, you I would really appreciate you coming over and subscribing. I'm not a bully, contrary to what they say. I'm really nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had, to, I had to laugh. Um, and y'all, Frail doesn't know this yet. We are going to be doing live reviews for the Real Housewives of New Jersey, so y'all yeah. can want to check that. Out. Okay. okay, I have to come down. I love that. y'all. Not you telling him he gonna do it. I know, right? <laughs> Just bullying me in this shit, but okay. The 
No. Don't start that singing shit. He already did it. You missed yeah, it. He already hit that note. He already did no, it. No, no, no. I heard him, but I'm saying, don't you? I'm talking about you and Sakina. Don't y'all join in and start that? That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about you and Mike for it too. <clears throat> Baby. <laughs> Hey, you might have to add, you add, you might have to like a little um, voiceover and add that, that as a segment for season five. Every oh. time I really be say something, I'm gonna add a video with some graphics. Bully B. <laughs> baby, this boss baby uh, list is real long. I I'm a, I just scroll down and look for y'all. <laughs> Girl, no, you so got so both, uh, but you gotta vote in some other categories too, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, I do. Well, listen, yeah. what I don't know who has them. I just vote for the. I just vote for the picture I like the most. That's all. I was like, oh, I voted. I, 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 I voted for you last you like time. I voted for you this time. One of the teachers that uh, listen, teacher I've been in my high up. school. Oh, for real? Yeah, uh, Zachary Kirk, Mr. Kirk. You know what? Who else I noticed on that list? The dude that Candy cussed out season nine about their chick. What was his name? Johnny. Johnny. He used to work there. Oh, we on that list. He was Now he'll be nominated for a boss baby award. Child. <laughs> 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 Ooh, all right, y'all. I love y'all. I got up down, though. I got to take care of some stuff before I go to bed, and I've been running. Oh, what you, I'm tired I know you have to take care of. Girl, Good night, right everybody. Behind, Look as well. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. Um <laughs> let's see. CCF freak. Um I might we'll see if she <laughs> I you know I did five wonderful seasons with you guys, but I cannot. Um, okay, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the show. Um, but here's some more additional pictures if anybody care for um, Robin's wedding. Yeah, we don't care, child. The wedding was very pretty, but I felt I felt nothing. And I get very <laughs> old so when it comes down to weddings, I do. I felt nothing. Oh, my God. Not you feel nothing. It just felt, it just felt awkward. Look. Look, the eldest son did look put the picture back up. He didn't even sing, please. He just like they didn't got my ass out here dressed up and so I could have been playing Xbox. That's how he <laughs> looked. That's right. exactly how he looking. We want to be playing 2K. Y'all tripping. Listen, that was a nice wedding for five folks. It was. I know they had some baby shower food there. <laughs> Well, I mean, she still got the she money left over from that little picnic thing that she had. I told you she had a hundred dollars, and you know, came back with ninety five. She had money for the reception. She did. Um, Probably still had some leftover food too. I can't take it. I can't. <laughs> I'll ask Kim Cat for the uh, super chat. He said the top three liars on Real House of Potomac are Giselle, Robin, Ashley. Runners up are Mia and Karen. Then Robin had the nerve to call Karen a liar for last two. Seasons, Rob is a narcissist. I don't know if I agree with that top three liars one. Wait, and not just that, but when they were leaving Mexico, Robin had the nerd to say, Everyone gonna see the real you. And wouldn't we find out that we saw the real you holding out on a good juicy storyline for two damn seasons? <laughs> no, Even great. though we know Juan is no, a cheater, great. so that ain't a secret, but the fact that you held on to it. Because you a liar, he a cheater, you a deceiver, heartbreaker. heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. And we don't want you back on our TV, so we take it. Our time, our money, we want it all. Come on, clap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the youngest in the chat don't know about that song. They don't know about that. They don't know about that. Uh, Ain't that the only song that group had? You know what, Lil Mackie? Ebony was getting on my nerves too. She was she was kind of acting like Lauren. I didn't, watch her, I didn't watch her on Housewives of New York City, so I don't I don't have no opinion on her because I didn't watch her on um 
I didn't watch that last season either. Yeah, for I didn't watch reason, it. I just wasn't drawn to it, so I didn't. It watch was it. just too like, girl, we don't want to hear a Black History lesson every five minutes. <laughs> we we still don't want to hear that every five minutes. Like, girl, relax, just enjoy. Kim Cat, let's see who's my top three liars. First of all, Mia, Giselle, and Robin. I would, I would. Like I agree with the list for the most part, but I would trade yeah, Mia Ashley is, for me. Mia. Mia's the biggest one out of all. Of them. Mia lies the more than anybody. Yeah, she's the biggest one. <laughs> um, well, before we depart, y'all, do y'all have any final thoughts on this season? Um, if you, what would you guys rate this season on a um, A to F scale? C, and I'm being generous. I'm gonna go with B minus. Hmm. I'll give it a B minus and just because of the content and what I was able to push out week to week. But in terms of substance and true viability, an F. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. I yeah, I'll give it a C because I, I actually like last season more than this season. I did too. Because this season was kind of just all over the place. It was. No lies there. I was like, yeah, like the story, like the editing. So the editing gets an A. The editing was good. The editing was shady. It was cool. Yeah. But as far as like y'all and um, Scotty said, the substance of the show, the meat and potatoes of the show, it could have been more. And the reunion gonna be whack too, from what I see. I was so uh, underwhelmed. Yeah. I was like, oh. <clears throat> I don't know if they kind of you know. Or well, I don't think that was the full trailer. But I'm hoping they just gave us a little light, light, and because you know sometimes for the reunions they give us all the juiciness in the actual trailer, and by the time we watch it, it's just like, well, we kind of already saw everything. So I'm hoping that they reserved a lot, and it's just a little, you know, a little taste, a little appetizer. Hope. Yeah. I hope so, because listen, I was underwhelmed like hell with that trailer. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. <laughs> Right. But what Ooh. I can't wait to see is this escaping SWV show. Oh! I know. And, I, you know, and I, I feel like I'm going to give Coco and Latasha the business. I, I know I, I am. It. I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my spirit. But did y'all see, They, sh I think they showed it during the show. They showed like another preview of the SWV and Escape show and they showed Tamika and Tasha arguing and, Ta and Tamika Accused Tasha of stealing her money. I'm like, Bick. look, look, look. If this isn't killer cow riches all over again, you stole my damn house. I was just about I to say that. Me. I just about to say that. I just about to say that. You stole my goddamn house. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this if this link works. And and the whole and the rumor that I heard about the uh, Scott uh, sisters getting into over the mama thing. I think that was the scene where. They're being shot from like the door and they're by the sidewalk. And I think it was the mama that said, turn the cameras off. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the scene that has truly caused the sisters to break apart. It seems like it's going to be good. It's going to be a good, good ass show. I cannot wait to see it. Oh my God. I knew it was going to be good. See, the thing of, because I enjoyed Escapes last show they did on Bravo, the Escape Still Kicking It show. I enjoyed that one too. It was very. It was a very short season, but I, I enjoyed that too. And I think the reason why is because they got real drama, real history. This shit ain't nothing you can make up. Okay, it's some real shit. So it, it goes back decades. So it's real, and I can't wait to see it. Oh my god! Well, like, our, our panel is gonna be lit because yes. um, this time I'm gonna kind of step it up and actually bring different references. So like, let's say we have an episode. I'm like, okay, well, I did some research and back in 1996, the reason why this happened, it will you know, be some good, you know, I'm probably it'll like, a little, it'll like a little segment in there, like a throwback reference. Segment. But you know what? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I don't like Latasha, <laughs> but Latasha, if this ever reaches your ears, sweetheart, I'm gonna need for you to get your husband under control right quick. Did you see him in that trailer? What? Where he pretty much beat her head up. I, I'm saying, look, I'm saying this out of love, cause I loves me some uh, Monique. I, I love my big sister, but the fact that she let her husband Sydney gas her up the way that he does, and this caused her to lose some opportunities. 
Your husband is doing the same. Now, again, oh, she, the girl can sing. She can blow. Won't take that away from her. She oversings, in my opinion, but she can blow. No lie. But him telling her, grab the mic and show them who you are and da 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 is one thing to encourage your wife. Is another thing to send her on a dummy mission. Because there have only been a handful of singers that were bigger than a group. Mm -hmm. And I do mean a handful, because most people that try to go solo, it don't last. It they don't. might get one good album, Cisco, and that be oh. it. Okay? Everybody ain't no Michael Jackson. Ain't, everybody ain't Bianca knows. Everybody ain't them. Not Bianca. Because you know Cisco tried to come out with that second album, and it came and went. He came out with that, can I live? Can I breathe? <laughs> Look, <laughs> like, it, look, it went straight cardboard. Didn't go I'm nowhere. Like, what the fuck is what? <laughs> I don't it's even know. Second and took his ass on 106 in the park and said that no R&B cat can see him. And then they brought Usher up there, and Usher shaded the hell out of him. It was a hot mess. <laughs> and, at, you know, at, at, at that time, that's when Usher was putting out 8701. So you know, Usher was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Cisco wasn't seeing her show back then. He just, you know, but I, I'm just saying, Latasha, get your husband under control because again, mess around with him and you really gonna lose a bag. I'm just saying, like she did in the past. And then remember, is another part in that trailer when Tamika said her husband is always in our business. But I said that. But everybody trying to make it seem like I just hate I just hate Latasha. They've been saying it. They said that on Unsung. Like, mm -hmm. come on now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't wait, y'all. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, this is gonna be a good ass show. This is just what I need after this lackluster ass season of Potomac. I need that. Oh, it's gonna be good. I just hate that it's a like a mini series. Like it's probably gonna be very short, and I'm really not here for that. First you said it's gonna uh, it might be just between six and uh, six to eight episodes. Uh, no, they need to bring uh, -uh. I mean, but at the same time that I it's it's good, but it's bad. It's bad because you know there's a lot they're leaving on the editing room floor, mm -hmm. but it's good because at least we're getting the meat, potatoes, and the slice of cheesecake. We're not we getting all that. But we know that each episode is going to give us just what we need. We're going to be there, you know, rather than, you know, they give us <laughs> something. Then we got like five filler episodes. Just like we really didn't. I definitely am, Hara, by the way. I'm going to give y'all um, Latasha Scott's Thug Holiday Runs on every damn Roaster Review, man. child. Oh, my God, man. That be cracking me up mm -hmm. when you be singing that run. <laughs> if if, if the person that asked, the person that produced um, SWV in Escape Show was Mona Scott. That's who produced it. Yeah. She know how to produce a show now. She need to take her ass back to her own damn show, which is Love and Hip Hop and produce that. They just that. need to cancel it. They need to cancel it. Did you I see mean, I, look, look, I'm still waiting for Is Ross to give me my Mona bitch compilation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it. I want the video. I swear I do. But wow. did y'all see what I posted a couple of days ago? They're talking about the Love and Hip Hop South Africa. I'm like, Oh, yeah, I saw that. Give it up, please. Give it up. I said not South Africa. <laughs> like what the fuck? The damn fool. <clears throat> Layology was like she said this on Twitter to me. She was like, if it's anything like that show on Netflix, what was it called? Young, oh, young, rich, and African. Yeah, if it's anything like that, she'll tune in. But I yeah, never seen that, that show. That was a good show, and it's coming back. I heard, so I really can't wait for that to come back. You need to watch that, Scott. Oh, yeah, Somebody else said that, though. Somebody it else told me that. Scenery, it gives rich. Mm -hmm. Now that with the music, but not y'all saying Mona Scott needs to produce Real Housewives of Atlanta episode. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a ghetto mess. <laughs> right. Mia really gonna be throwing oh. drinks then. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well, do you guys have any final um thoughts or you know before I just I, you know I got one <clears throat> and what Andy needs to do is he needs to have contracts where you sign this contract and you are hired for pay for this season means meaning by the time we get halfway through filming, if you gave us enough, you will have a full-fledged contract. If you ain't give us enough, either you're going to be a friend of or you just won't be on. Because at least that way, if you, you were making them work to actually make it to the final cut, 
rather than just saying, okay, yeah, here's your contract. Give us something. But you know what? They kind of did that with Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know if most people remember that, but during season seven, Claudia wasn't even supposed to be no uh, peach holder. She was supposed to be the friend of the show. Demetria McKinney was supposed to have a peach, not Claudia. I want to watch Claudia ate up the rest of Nene's hair, and then that's how she got the peach. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that whole argument at that table saved her life. Because if it wasn't right. for that, she'll just be a friend. But Demetria was supposed to have peach. That's what's supposed to have peach. Demetria so. didn't really need no peach. She was kind of boring. Yeah, she didn't really bring it. <laughs> like she was. Wait, wait, Scotty, say it. Come on, Scotty. Say what? I said them too. Them too. <laughs> <laughs> I did them too. <laughs> Like that was a perfect set. He was like, "Say what?" I was so lost for a second. <laughs> I was so lost. Um, oh. CC Freak, they are saying that Mayetta uh, may be a peach holder, but from what I heard, it may be eight peaches. It needs to. Yeah, I mean, do what you do, but my girl better bring it if she's gonna be a peach holder this season because she ain't bring nothing. And don't get <laughs> uh, uh, Housewives of Atlanta because I've been ducking and dodging the hell out of any. Pro uh, Twitter shit, anything. I don't want to hear it until I please like do because they get on my damn nerves. Please do. I'll be it's one person on Twitter. She makes she makes a, a symposium every damn day about Potomac. And I and I don't even follow her and I see it come down my timeline all day. I'd be like, Who is it? Like, oh my god, are we talking about the same person? The we person gotta be we drink or something like that. I think you put I think you put that, that tweet in a group one time. It's the same person. Oh, 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 oh. Down my timeline all day. I'd be like, girl. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, but um, everybody, you know, want to go around and just say what y'all, you know, what's what's next for y'all? Well, for me, um, I am reviewing Baddies West. I just ain't watched it yet. <laughs> But I am reviewing it. I'm reviewing Baddies West. I'm barely reviewing Grown Up Hip Hop because it's whack as hell this season. Mm. Um, I'm reviewing Love and Marriage DC as well as Potomac. Um, I do uh, once again. I do plan on reviewing um, SWV and Escape Show Queens of R&B. Of course, there will be a Russell review centered around that show. You, we will have you know Yarell and really be as guest panelists on that show. Um. Let's see. We're going to have a great time. I know it's going to be amazing. Um, also, I turned 34 Sunday. And being that the Housewives of Potomac is not coming on Sunday, I'm going to do a virtual like birthday party with all of my content creator friends and stuff. And I'm going to be kind of lit and stuff. So, um, that's pretty much all I got to say. I'm just excited about Rose's review because I can't wait to see it's the Vienna Escape show. I just can't wait to see it. And I can't wait to see y'all's reviews on it because I know they're going to be fucking hilarious. That's all I got. Uh, Well, <clears throat> y'all don't know, but like I said, I've pretty much been under the weather this past week. You know, Mother Yocrates got your boy sick. I'm still trying to figure out how she didn't get her husband sick, but I got sick. But nevertheless, we <laughs> Make it do what it do. So cause I really meant to give y'all uh, the Miami Housewives. It just didn't happen. Y'all barely got D.C. and Potomac today. But still doing those two. Um, I'm Look, if it take me to the reunion get here to get y'all Miami, y'all going to get it. Jersey start tomorrow. Y'all getting that. Obviously doing Escape versus or Escape and SUV. I think it's one other. <laughs> Did you say SUV? Shut up. <laughs> Leave it alone. Escape is escape. I mean, I know it's like that, but he pronounced it. Leave me alone, damn it. And I think there's one other thing, but I think that's it. And, you know, uh, Bully B told me that I'm doing uh, the Jersey battle, so I'll be over there. And, uh, hey, yeah. Thank you. For really, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. I dated him, too. <laughs> Hey, Bims. <laughs> you make me so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some rest. I'm, I'll get some rest. I, I, I will. Sakina, what about you? 
Well, um, yeah, this show almost over. So Potomac, Ray Love, Miami. Uh, I said Miami, Red Housewives of Miami, and um, growing up hip hop. I say it every week. Check me out, damn it. Oh, hey, Scotty, are you huh? really doing basketball lives? I am. He is. Oh, oh, we gonna pray. I'm gonna pray your strength. Oh Lord. Mm -hmm. I am, unfortunately. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm praying for you too. <laughs> Because, you know, we grew, man, we grew up, I mean, we grew up on basketball wise reality TV. And just That's why I can't seem to let it go. Yeah. That is horrible. Right. To see how it was from season one Miami back in 2010 to now, you know, 13 years later. I, I mean, got the first, th I got the first three seasons of basketball wives on DVD. That's how much of a fan I was. Yeah. <laughs> and, and with that being said, we need to close this out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, let me just say this. Okay, so for my channel, what you guys can expect is expect is um, I will be collaborating with um, Melanated Crowns. We have already talked, so expect the collaboration from that. Um, expect some um, content to be coming out this week for my uh, Black Inventory. And also, so instead of us coming together for next Monday, it will be the compl um, I'll be doing a complication for Compilation, I'm sorry, for the best of season four, um, whether you like or not. Pam. I can't wait to see that. You got to open it up with that ghetto ass intro. You have to open it up with that. Oh, it's all that is going to be on there. Oh, yeah. You, you got to open it up with that. And one more thing, you guys, um, as far as the panel is concerned, yeah, no, yeah, y'all really be in Sakina. They will be the ones hosting um, the panels for each reunion part. So they'll be doing all the reunions. And when we come back for Atlanta, it'll start off with me again. So it'll start yeah. off from the very from the top again when um, we come back for Atlanta. So yeah. And um <laughs> not simply her Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't we call her simply her for me? Why you sitting at <laughs> CC for yes. I have added. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Oh my god, I cannot. Oh. And please, and, and another thing, y'all, please stop asking me, T and Josiah, to do a uh, roast review on growing up hip hop. It'll never happen, honey. They don't give enough. It don't. It's so boring and fake. I can't. Yes, too, Pisces. You'll be getting another documentary. Yes, because I know I heard y'all really did like the Sharice video. So. Oh, that was now that one was the shit. That was the shit. I'm sure. But anyways, uh, well, guys, thank y'all so much. We're gonna go ahead and out, um, head out of here until next week. I don't know whose channel is gonna be on. We'll talk about that back. It's really me. No, but for next week, um, the you know the best of. Oh. Yeah, the best of, and then the next, you know, our following show will be on really be so. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and um, we'll see y'all later. Bye.